Sergey, are your men ready? Do we get fed? Die! No, it's coming! It's coming! Ura! 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 Uh, are we, uh... Da. Did not feel anything. See the mad king to brain. It was good shooting montage though. It was the best. Bison. Uh, there are not a whole lot of examples of this particular mm -hmm. weapon in the US, and in fact, fewer that uh, have a happy switch on them. Yes. So we're very proud uh, today on Grantham to be able to show this weapon, and it is actually Micah's favorite weapon, so we're going to try to make sure that he doesn't shoot it that much because mm -hmm. um, it's like a withholding thing. Yes. It's kind of something you I like. You build up the, the, the climax. Yeah, how is it, by the way, having the mask off? Is it less sweaty? I don't know what you're talking about. I killed the last guy. Bison. The Bison. But before we get into that, we have to thank the biggest sponsor of the channel, the Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're looking to get your start in gunsmithing, they are the people to go to. We cannot thank them or enough. You can make your own bison. Or maybe you can make your own bison if you if you try hard enough. We have to thank who, Micah? Primary Arms. We love them a lot. Uh, great optics, great price, and we can't thank them enough. Uh, they do a lot of awesome stuff for the channel. And uh, this month is uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass. Like, like, you know, from Jamba Juice, lemongrass yeah. shots. Lemongrass July. But we do love them. Go give them our support. And of course, unlike the camera that this is filmed on, unlike the uh, TV that you're watching this on, AAC Ammunition is made in the United States. And we cannot thank them enough for sponsoring the ammunition of this channel. Now, before we get into it, I do want to note that this PP-19 Bison is not given to us. Uh, there's no exchange of money. Uh, it was built by a private builder. And um, the ammunition was purchased by us. So there's no really... Uh, there's no biases there, right, Micah? We're not state sponsored by Russia or anything like that. So uh, the bison is what you get, and we'll uh, give our honest opinions on the weapons as we always do. So talk is cheap, and ammunition is what, Micah? Uh, brought by AAC, but purchased by ourselves painstakingly yeah. for this one. Yeah, so. because they don't make 9x18 Mac. Let's get into it. Oh, hey, <laughs> what's up? PP19, 9x18, helical magazine. Very, uh. The coolest gun ever? You know, you did say that about the VSS. It's like we keep upping the ante. I think this is cooler. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Very. I will, no, I will say, yeah. with the helical mag, it kind of looks like a super soaker, if I'm being honest. He's not wrong. He's actually not wrong. The man's got a point. You want to explain the first drill that we're going to do? Yeah, we're going to do a as tight of a grouping as you can on the fast firing setting. How many rounds would you like to do? Six rounds. Six rounds. Really fast. Really trigger fast finger trigger finger. Right. The Cobra is one of the worst optics, by the way. I, I feel uh... not bad at all saying that. Shooter, are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Let's go check it out. Was that six? That was pretty close. So I, how many did I fire before? Four? Four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's six. That's a nice grouping right there. That's that a fist. Stand by. Yeah. All right, all right. malfunction. So he has, uh, he has four on target. He had a malfunction. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Stand by. Ooh. Woo that's six. 
Because I did four one, before. Two, three, four. Because one, one, two, three, four. Three, this is one, four, two, three. Five, six. Michael. Stand by. Oh, oh, five. oh no. no. Oh. oh. That's what I get for calling it a super soaker. Oh. 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 Uh, that's pretty good. I, I, I'm going to declare myself hey, a you know grouping what? champion. You, you know what this is? What? It's an A. For an administrative for results. For administrative results. So uh, this drill is going to be pretty simple. We're going to start from the two rocks right here. You're going to one, two, so one round per. You're going to turn left, which is impossible for all of us. And as you walk, or you can stay still if you really want to, depending on how you want to run the drill. You know, one, two, one, two, one, two. Run to the pole, and then you're going to do two shots on the left target down there. Seven. Nice, with uh, one Charlie. Yep. PP Bison incoming. And 46. Nice. nice. A lot of mics, a lot of mics. Let's Smoked it. Mics. You have a Delta. I had a Delta, yeah. Uh, line break, that's good. One Delta. Another Charlie. Charlie. Uh, so, point two, point two, I ten, eight, seven. Like I don't know. Who do you want to do for Delta? Delta, um, just one kiss on the cheek for your homies. Spot. Good, good, good. Clear, 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 clear. Oh. First two were good. Oh, my bad. I got yeah, really excited. Yeah. Rewind back. Yeah, yeah. Line break, alpha, two alpha, delta. You know what, guys? Maybe the real drills with the bison were the friendships that we strengthened along the way. The hostages we executed in the clearing. The bison's really cool for a whole lot of reasons, but I think one of the coolest reasons is that there's not a whole lot of information on it. And there, there's a couple of reasons for that. One, obviously, uh, in general, Russians not going to tell us a whole lot about their weapons development. And also, the PP-19, the Bison, is, wasn't a terribly successful weapon in that it was replaced somewhat quickly. So the Bison was replaced by what would become the Vityaz, the PP-1901. Uh, this one is, of course, massively kind of modified, but it was a more traditional design and more compatible with a lot of AK parts compared to the Bison, which was more complex, but in many ways, a little bit more, in some ways, more forward thinking. So we're gonna talk about this very fascinating Russian weapon. There's not a whole lot of examples in the US and fewer still, I would say this is perhaps one of the few that uh, have a really fun, fast trigger setting. The PP-19 Bison is a blowback operated nine by 18 um, chambered weapon. So nine by 18, a little bit weaker than nine millimeter, not by much, uh, but it does impart a really soft recoil. The system as a whole, despite being blowback operated, which usually imparts a little bit more recoil than you'd kind of want from such a small pistol caliber weapon, um, is, is soft due to the fact that it's nine by 18. A little bit anemic in my opinion, however, obviously we're still able to make fairly long shots with it. I imagine 200 yards wouldn't be much of a problem though you're not delivering much energy at that point. A couple notes that there is some parts compatibility with a standard AK-74. So we see that mostly in the fire control system, in the grip, in the stock. Um, otherwise, uh, in stark contrast to the PP-19 Vityaz, the uh, receiver, uh, the Trunnion, uh, is quite different from your typical AKs. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. Just like your standard AKs, we do have a detent right here. Obviously, you could mount any amount of suppressors on here. There's not a suppressor specific for the Vityaz that is made in the US, but uh, from there, we have our front sight post. Uh, you have your standard AK adjustments right there. Not a whole lot to speak about. Now, a lot of people will look at this and say, okay, clearly there is a gas system under there. We'll go ahead and we'll disprove you right here. All right, pull that little guy off right there. Just get a little bit of wiggle. And we have 
<laughs> obviously no gas system. It is direct blowback, just in case you guys didn't believe us. Um, so we have a simple guide to make sure that everything is right in those rails and doing good things. But otherwise, we have a simple blowback system, which is a very effective, a very reliable system, and uh, is probably one of the more popular systems in use in submachine guns, just because it works. So we have our sling loops right here, and then of course we have what everybody wants to talk about, and that is going to be the magazine. So these are a helical design right here, as you can see when I twist this. As you can see, this is helical, so when I twist that, I can get each round in. You can see each of those little spaces for the rounds to seat in. It's a unorthodox design, and uh, probably in many ways contributed to the uh, Bison ultimately not being a, a very well-liked or kind of well-adopted weapon. So when you're loading it in, it's a very odd procedure. You can see we have these pins right here on either side of the receiver. So we have hooks on the magazine right there. As you can see, you're going to get those hooks in place. Then I'm going to, just like an AK, you have that latch right there. I'm going to make sure that's lined up, press that into place, make sure that it's nice and seated. And then at that point, of course, I could rack the weapon and get the round in the chamber. It is, I'm sure with more time on it, I could get better at it. It is a, um, I can't imagine this- Call of Duty is bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. I can't imagine um, being under fire, under duress, and you know, you go dry and you're like, oh, cover me comrade. And you're like, oh God, as you're trying to get that- That's that, the that was best actually, one you've done. That was actually pretty good because I have so much time on it right now. But uh, it, it's, it's just, there is that very fine movement. And I'm not a person who's gonna say that you can't do fine movement um, in stressful situations. But uh, if, if you're, Magazine is easier to insert. That's gonna make your life much easier. So we'll show the bias, uh, we'll show the Vityaz in comparison. So we compare that to the Vityaz, which is a more traditional AK design. Stick mag out, stick mag in, and then you're simply going to rack that system and you're going to be charged. Just, just easier, man. Just kind of a real pain to load. I would. How, the, the idea is you just don't have to reload. Exactly, because you have so many rounds, and you do have quite a few. Um, we can't say the amount of rounds that we have, but you can see that they are marked on the magazine right there. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna show you on this older magazine right here, which is the metal one. You can see those rounds as I rotate those over. How you can load those. It is a pain in the butt to load, it is not fun. Now also you can lock these. Um, a lot of people have incorrectly when they're operating the Bison, put that magazine into lock position. So you'll get a few rounds that will feed and then uh, it will no longer feed. So again, to unlock that magazine, just like an AK, you're going to press up on that latch, you can get it out and then load it back in. So that is our basic mechanism for the magazine. We've talked about that enough. Let's move over to the other controls. Otherwise, the Bison is very similar to the Vityaz or vice versa because this came before the Vityaz. Again, this was produced in about 1993 and served for uh, about to the early 2000s before you saw the introduction of the Vityaz, which ended up taking over. So we have our safety right here. We have safe, we have really, really fast, and then we have semi. Standard selector positions for an AK. We of course have our charging handle there, a little bit shorter than your typical AK charging handle, um, but otherwise very functional. If we move over to the left hand side, we of course do have an optic on this particular weapon. We do have a Cobra optic. There is a side optic rail right here, so those can be mounted. Uh, I wanna note again that the Cobra is one of my least favorite optics, and that's, there's nothing you can do to change my mind. Um, from there, let's go ahead, let's show Ghost in that trigger right here. This is a standard AK trigger, not a whole lot to talk about, but kind of going into it, we have our first stage, nice little roll, and we have that typical AK let off, short reset right there, very positive. Boom. I love AK triggers, man. They are nice, about five pounds, but feels a lot less because it is very crisp. Moving from there, we have our standard AK grip, so those can, of course, be changed out to whatever you want. And then we have our triangular folder, this, of course, can, this button can be depressed right here, and then if I do that correctly, then you can fold that to the side. Being that we do have an optic there that is not going to fold completely and lock into place, can fold that over to the side, lock that into place, and that makes for a very compact package right there, easy to transport around. To get that off, we're simply going to push up on it, and then we can unlatch it, lock that into place, and we have our good old Bison. I was not sure what I was gonna think of this particular weapon, 
I've obviously seen it in Call of Duty. I've seen it in every video game. This is my first time getting uh, hands-on time with it. And uh, it is a very soft shooter. It is very easy to keep on target. That nine by 18 definitely lends itself to a weapon of this type. I like it. I ultimately, I like it. Uh, Submachine guns do have their place and I could certainly see how this would be fun, especially with the magazine capacity that we have. That is a nice little bit of kind of firepower that you have there. It's definitely kind of in that same vein of like the P90 with kind of the odd magazine type. And I hate the P90 and how you load the mag and this definitely takes the cake for one of the worst loading magazines that we've ever uh, put our hands on. Would you agree with that? Agreed. Yeah, it, it's just absolutely balls to the wall terrible. <sighs> I think it's cool. I it, sick. It's sick. It's cool. Um, this is unfortunately a weapon that you're probably not going to be able to easily get your hands on. There are a few builders in the U.S., but... Maybe if we ask Palmetto. <laughs> Maybe Palmetto will make one. You never know. Aaron, what did you think of the Bison? So, Bison, pretty neat, pretty Call of Duty, very gamerish. Um, biggest downfall... Biggest downfall? I haven't been drinking your honor, but I will drive. So, the biggest downfall has probably been the mag catch back here. Just working that makes it... How fast can you reload it? Go. Oh, God! <laughs> $3,000 mag. That fast. That's actually pretty good. That's impressive. Thank you. Thank under, you. Under pressure, I can do decent. Under pressure. This is actually Micah's favorite gun. He was super excited kind to do of this. Kind of all time. Like, I, I'm pretty biased because I think this is literally my favorite gun of all time. You said that about the VSS I, I, too. I, no, I didn't say of all time. I said it was the coolest one we've done yet. Fair. But uh, I think that, you know, Counter-Strike, I use this just to troll with, you know, all the Call of Duties. I always use the Bison, even if it wasn't the best gun. Uh, every video game that had it, I always ran the Bison. It's just one of those guns where no matter whether it was a piece of shit or a great gun, I was going to love it no matter what. And I, and I do. The vibe. Yes. A little, little bummed out at how hard it is to load. I don't really want to shoot it just because I don't want to load it. So, guys, thank you so much for uh, watching today. If there's anything that we could say, it's you can get good with any weapon system. So just because you can't get your hands on a Bison doesn't matter. Train with what you have. Get good. We appreciate you guys watching. As always, stay cool out there. Get training from lots of great places. And uh, we've got nothing else for you today.